No, yeah, well, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's <not. laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> All right. Go. Uh, well, heck, there's. We started beer making when I was at the College. Okay. Uh, and this would have been 1980. Mm -hmm. 1980. Okay. Uh, I was in the co-op system there, which is phenomenal. They don't, instead of fraternities and sororities, they have co-ops. Okay. And we were kind of unofficially known as the beer co-op, I guess you'd say. <laughs> uh, uh, but prior to that, actually I was in elementary school and I came across Yule Gibbons. Uh, he had a book at the time, Stocking the Wild Asparagus, uh, basically oh, eating the off the land. Yeah. Uh, so, and, and we lived outside of Columbus in Dublin, mm -hmm. which at the time was just cornfields. Uh, and he had a recipe for dandelion wine, uh, <laughs> which I made, and my mother loved it. I, I didn't drink it, but she loved it. And awesome. There you go. Yes. Um, heck. Uh, God, that brings back memories. Uh, you made it sense? <laughs> you know, not the dandelion wine. Uh, I, I'm, I have a couple batches of mead. Uh, Anymore, I'm buying wine kits from Amazon, mm -hmm. uh, just because it's it's cheap right. and easy, right. you know, right. and everything's right there. Uh, and every year, I keep kicking myself because I miss the dandelion harvest. There's only like one good weekend when you can when you, when the dandelions are at their peak. <laughs> and if you're not there picking them, and you, you just got to go crazy and get a, like a bushel or two, right, right, and have at it. Wow. But yeah, now, and now that you mentioned it, I have to do this next year. Well, well the thing is, see, I got, I, um, my, my four-year-old son watches uh, Ice Age. Yes. See, and in that, in that movie, there's uh, some rhin rhinoceroses, you know, are fond of eating dandelion. And it's a natural major motion picture scene. Okay. See, every time I watch that, see, I, I think about you because, you know, and your story about making the dandelion and harvesting the dandelions, more importantly. Yes. Well, because here we have uh, so many people who have their yards and they hate dandelions and you here you are who you know you um I'm you, looking you for couldn't the perfect you, dandelion yes patch. that's right someone that doesn't use chemicals <laughs> that doesn't try to pull them yes that just, somewhere let before. them grow exactly let them grow <laughs> it's a native service? plant do you know what the park service sprays for them you know that would be a good idea yes because like Cuyahoga Valley has got rolling open fields and yes like you drive by and it's like I wonder how much cancer I'll get if I use those for something <laughs> right yep so, so, so this is your 2013 resolution then. We can pencil that in? You can. Okay, and, awesome. Uh, let's see. Dandelion season will be in the spring. Right. So towards midsummer, towards the end of summer, hook up with me and we'll have some dandelion wine. Dandelion wine. wine. Awesome. That's gotta, awesome. Gotta do it. So, so here we are. You know, Dave from uh, Makers Alliance is going to be making dandelion wine for 2013. in 2013. Yes. And we I are going to hold him against it. Gotta do it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.